What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick one, but Valve just announced their upcoming handheld gaming PC known as the Steam Deck, and this thing looks absolutely amazing. It's slated to release in December 2021. I have my fingers crossed for that, but they do have a few different variants, and they're going to be opening up pre-order soon, but it's a $5 kind of deposit to pre-order one, and I'm definitely going to be jumping on the train here. I'm going to try to get one pre-ordered so I can get one in my hands as soon as possible. But yeah, as you can see here, it's going to be starting at $399, and this is for the base configuration. But between them all, they do have the same amount of RAM and the same CPU, so performance across the board should be the same. Really, all that's changing here is the storage configuration. So initially, there were rumors about Valve creating a handheld, and I actually thought it was going to be a streaming handheld, but this definitely seems to be an all-in-one portable gaming PC. And they're claiming it can play AAA games, and I don't doubt that it can. The RAM and CPU configuration they're using in here is perfect for the screen resolution, and I do a lot of testing with these Ryzen chips, and that's exactly what we're going to have in here. It's definitely going to be one of the more powerful APUs, and uh, we'll get to those specs, but uh, real quick, here's how the pricing goes. $399 gets you the 64GB model and a carrying case, but keep in mind this is eMMC storage here, only 64GB in this unit. For $529, we get that faster NVMe SSD storage 256 gigs worth we also get that carrying case and an exclusive steam community profile bundle which i could care less about and for 649 dollars you can scoop up the one with 512 gigabytes of storage this is also using that faster nvme ssd storage it also comes with premium anti-glare etched glass which is uh, something that you know would definitely come in handy for a handheld and this is the model that i'm going to try to go for but you know i don't know if i can uh, get my hands on this I would even go for the 399 model if I'm not able to pre-order the higher end model. But yeah, I mean, as pricing goes, this is actually coming in lower than some of the other x86 based uh, Windows handhelds that I've taken a look at on the channel recently. And this actually has some really nice specs. So when it comes to the overall layout, when I first initially saw this, I was kind of a bit disappointed by how big, you know, the edges are here. But this will come in handy with these handhelds. I mean, we have those dual analog sticks, D-pad, two touch areas here. And this has that gyro built in. Got a little demo down here, as you can see. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it, but I mean, it's a cool little feature. 7-inch touchscreen. And when it comes to the screen itself, they're saying that this is actual gameplay running on the prototype hardware. Which uh, doesn't look bad at all. I mean, the screen itself looks pretty vivid, even though we're at an angle here. And it is a prototype. We get that faster storage with the 256GB model and the 512GB model. Hi-Fi audio. 45 watt hour battery, expandable I.O., AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, USB Type-C, micro SD card support. And, you know, in the past, I've actually tried running uh, my Steam games from a micro SD card. Sometimes it doesn't work out too well, but with these faster cards coming out, it might work out pretty decently on this unit. They're also going to be offering a dock, which will further expand that I.O., and this is going to come in real handy if you do want to turn this into a desktop. But I think one of the most exciting things about this handheld is actually the APU they're using. This is based on Zen 2. It's a 4-core, 8-thread CPU with a base clock of 2.4 GHz and a boost up to 3.5. The GPU has 8 CUs based on RDNA 2, with a clock from 1 GHz to 1.6 GHz, and they're claiming that these built-in graphics will do up to 1.6 teraflops. Taking a look at the original PS4 that did 1.84 and the original Xbox One, 1.31. So I'm expecting this thing to perform really well at 15 watts. Another reason I'm saying that this little APU is going to perform well is the RAM. So when it comes to these AMD APUs, they rely on system RAM as VRAM, and this is actually using 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5. This is faster than we've seen in any of these little laptops or desktops with the Ryzen APUs and those built-in graphics. So yeah, this is definitely going to give us a little performance hike on that AMD APU, and since it's based on RDNA 2, I think this is going to be a sweet little setup. We went over the gamepad controls. And when it comes to the display, it's a 7-inch touchscreen, 400 nits, typical, 60 hertz, but it's only running at 1280 by 800 which is actually perfect for a handheld like this. And since we have that limited resolution on the screen, that's what we're going to be running our games at when it's in handheld mode. And this new AMD APU based on that Zen 2 architecture and that RDNA 2 uh, GPU is going to perform really well at 1280 by 800 but yeah, I'm super excited about the Valve Steam Deck, and I usually don't make videos like this, but you know, I, I really wanted to because this is going to be an awesome little handheld, and I do a lot of handheld reviews and mini PC reviews on my channel. 
But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I would like to know in the comments below if you're interested in picking one up, if you're going to try to do a pre-order or just wait to see the performance or see if it's even released in December. Because with, uh, you know, all of the setbacks we had with chip manufacturing in the past year, there's a good chance that this will be delayed. But, uh, I mean, you never know. Valve could be working really closely with AMD and have this out in time. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think about this thing in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.